I'm your host for Keeping It Real Talk Show. Once again, we want to tell you thank you for tuning in to the talk show, which airs on the Keeping It Real Network. And guess what? You in for a treat today. I have the group uh, Prolific Glorifying God Entertainment. Uh, these young guys are going to tell you a little bit about their group. So how y'all doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? Doing, doing great. Good, doing man. great. So, uh, Daniel, tell me a little bit about your, uh, your group called uh, Glorifying God Entertainment, which is your record label. Yeah, well, my record label is Glorifying God Entertainment. It's me and Bama King right here. Um, he actually did a song on my ministry on a mic album, um, and it was called uh, it was Glorifying You. So we just right. decided to also make a my record label name, Glorifying God Entertainment. We got a song called From the South with me and Bama King, so we're going to perform that tonight, and I'll let him speak a little as well. Right. So tell us a little bit about how do y'all get started, you know? All right, man, like... Um, Back in 2009, mm -hmm. I met Daniel, he came to my door, knocked on the door, he asked for something, so I went back in the house, he went back to his place, and then I went over to give him the, um, what he asked for, so I heard him playing some beats and everything, and so he started freestyling, I started rapping with him, we started kicking it back and forth, kicking the flow, so like that was 2009 we had talked about it was like man we're gonna do music together we're gonna do some music together well five years later mm -hmm. in october october right. the 4th exact he called me he said hey man we got to do this song glorifying you and i was like okay so i'm talking about this the same day he right. called me to do the song the same day i wrote my verse wow and we went to the studio and we dropped the song wow. and like that night like it was already like trending in different countries and stuff the song was already flowing and um i remember we did a interview radio interview and they was like man y'all know this song went to so many stations overnight and it was like we was getting phone calls to do interviews man and like it's just awesome man right right wow wow so so you must say this must it's a gift right it's a gift it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a blessing that's right what it is. there you go there you <laughs> so, go there you go you know, a lot of people, I remember last time Daniel was on the show and uh, we were talking about trying to rap. Everybody can't rap, you know what I'm saying? And so you have to be gifted in that area. And, you know, uh, talking about glorifying God entertainment, uh, Daniel, where where did you get that from? I mean, the label name. Well, like I said, we did the song Glorifying You. And um, I appreciate the, you know, the Lord give me a talent. I mean, I like my the, the use of my talent and everything, but um, I just wanted to call it Glorifying God Entertainment. You know, it's registered on my distribution group, but it's still my label. But I just wanted to call it Glorifying God Entertainment because I'm really trying to glorify God with this music. I mean, a lot of time people say that, you know, we're not here to entertain, but I kind of come at it a different way. I say, that not, should not be your main purpose to entertain, but if you go to a football game or a right. movie, you want to, be entertained so why can't a Christian be entertained instead of uh, people have entertained angels want to unaware so be not forget for the entertain strangers so that's right. one reason why I say that that shouldn't be your main focus but hey, yeah you can entertain like just the same thing like you going to a football game I mean Christians need to be uplifted and have fun too in the right positive way so right that's right and so in some of your rapping you talk about your life experience do y'all do that in your yeah I talk about my uh, life experience um really with doing the hip hop rap mm -hmm. in the community you don't have nobody really to back you up now not where i'm from anyway right so you know you got a lot of guys that's rapping but mm -hmm. it's more of like a competition so right. you know they'll get together and they'll rap but then in the back of their mind they like i got to be better than this guy it's never a, a, a chain of trying to pull somebody along with you right and in this day and time you can actually go out of town and meet somebody and link up mm -hmm. with them and they'll help you more out than the person in your own city right so you That's know right. um i took it as you know what i'm saying i was doing hip-hop and then when he mm -hmm. pulled me into that i actually had kind of like i was like man i'm not gonna rap anymore and then when he, he kind of linked up with me i started back doing it and i wasn't as good as i was before doing it because i just could just come off mm -hmm. freestyling doing everything off the brain but i had stopped for a while so it was kind of i was kind of shaky at first and then when i started writing verses and then i did it the christian way now god gives me the gift to even go back to hip-hop and right. still write verses but i can do it cleaner right. and they come to me just like you know it's, it just flows like magic wow. it's like wow. magic it's like watching a magic show uh -huh. it's like where he coming up with this from <laughs> so you know right. that's how wow. it goes 
That's right. So, so what is y'all's main purpose uh, in your music? Well, like I said, the purpose is, like I said, win souls, but also just keep uh, Christians entertained. I mean, we, we trying to put out stuff just as good as the world has, you know, music, because music is a great influence. So, I right. mean, we, we come lyrically, but even with the beats and everything, we wanted this today to say, you know, just like, for instance, one Christian rapper, Lecrae, I mean, he got number one on the uh, Billboard charts, not just in the Christian, you know, right. but also our purpose is just to, you know, go as high as we can, mm -hmm. you know, even for for the Christian, but also for the world to see that we can do clean Christian mm -hmm. music, inspirational music, and glorify God and it still be positive and successful. Right, right, wow, that is great, you know. Because, you know, there's still clean things out there, you know, yes. and, and, you know, when, when you said that, my mind just began to roll back about our, you know, our um, network. Yeah. We keep it clean. We have good things, you know, for the family. And, you know, as you said that, you know, I just start thinking about, you know, different families because they're looking for things that are clean, you know, stuff with all this cussing and going on. They, people are not into that. No, you know what I'm saying? No more. They want something that was clean, that is clean, that, you know, will help edify and help build, you know, even in y'all rapping, y'all are rapping about things that would help, you know, motivate and encourage people. Uh, tell us a little bit about your, you know, the new, um, CD y'all you all are getting ready to come out with okay um like I said we got from the south which we're gonna do you know um tonight it's um actually been aired on one of four point seven kiss FM and you follow it's gonna be aired on new praise radio internet station that reached four hundred fifty thousand people internationally starting um in October but we're gonna do a remix of the song glorifying you glorifying you we did off of ministry on the mic we're gonna also have uh Brad's uh, uh, Bama King solo project, Big Dreams, right. and then we're also going to have you know a couple, either uh, one or two more songs on there as well. We got one called What's Going On, which that one is actually like I said, we come with the styles. Believe it or not, it's like an Eminem type of style, but with a Christian and positive mm -hmm. flow. The beat is even kind of crazy like that, but it's a positive Christian influence. Right. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Did you ever think that you no, know, you you all song would go worldwide and. You know. Well, um, I'm gonna speak a little bit and I'll let him speak. Um, my, my aunt always said, like, I think it was at 10 years old, she was like, you know, your song's gonna be on the radio. And I, was, I thought maybe it could be, you know, but I mean, right. it wasn't like a short thing. But even for it to be going, uh, going worldwide and even be as successful as it is, it's just amazing. Like I said, it's just a blessing from God. But you know, right. you just plant that little seed and you never know what he can do. Just if he's got a talent, like I said, like mm -hmm. I said on the, um, other, the other show I did a while back, I, I'm not gonna bury my. I tell them maybe it not be the most, but I try to, you know, come with my craft with the best I can and work right. on it. And I just use the talent God give me and then he just starts to bless. So I'm going to let Bama King say yeah, a couple boy. things. Yeah, you know, back to the uh, thing about uh, what do we do in our music and why do we do it? My mm -hmm. thing is the, the younger generation, the youth, that's the next right. thing up. That's right. That's the next thing up. Mm -hmm. That's the next. That's your future leaders. You know, what I'm saying of America. That's right. your future leaders in the church. That's right. You know, the future leaders, doctors, lawyers, and everything. So, you got to do what's trending for them, and the main thing to draw them in. That's what you want to do. The cleaner you can do it and draw them in right. and keep them in the right place. You know, they love that hip hop. They love that rap. But when you can change it and then draw them in, and then what I want to do is the reason I do the music that I'm doing, the big dreams and everything. I want to draw them in. I want to grab them. I want to grasp them. And I want to get their attention. When right. I get their attention, I want to give them a positive mindset to know that they can do what they want to do, that's be right. anything that they want to do, and they can accomplish anything they want to accomplish in life. So right. that's why you know when I'm rapping, I'm trying to grab their attention mm -hmm. you know i might say stuff fly stuff in my lyrics and they may, they might be like oh man that caught my attention you know because right. it's something that's hitting them it's a metaphor that's hitting them right. but at the same time when i'm hitting them with that metaphor it's not like i'm finna go out here and i want to do something wrong no mm -hmm. it's like man he said that and like man it's something positive behind that that's, right. that's something that's that right. i want to do you know what i'm saying right. i, I want to follow my dreams mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i got big dreams i'm not gonna give up mm -hmm. because you know even the the smallest the small it's a small thing to a giant always right so you know even jordan you know it's years that he didn't even get the ball right he didn't even get to play but did he give up no no he did but a lot wow. of people they won't look back and say well they'll just say jordan is the greatest that but how did he become the greatest that's right wow wow you feel what i'm saying that's right that's right he didn't give up right don't that's let right. it come easy right you got to grind to get it that's don't it let man. it come easy so you know I'm just out here Trying to reach to the youth And tell them You know Hey do what you gotta do Become whatever you wanna become mm -hmm. Right Because if you don't Then you're just gonna be The next person Just sitting there saying If I woulda done this Right But you don't wanna be If I woulda That's right You wanna That's look right. back And say I did it That's it man Thank God That's I made it. it Right Wow 
That is so true, man. Man, you said a mouthful, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And man, it was it was on point because the youth need to hear this, you know, because a lot of times, and I know when you all were, you know, getting together, you know, doing this, you got a lot of negative feedback, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't going to go nowhere or uh, ain't nothing going to work for you because I'm going to tell you, I got that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, you crazy, you know what I'm saying? But if you never try it, I mean, how would you ever get to where you need to be? You know what I'm saying? Even in your career, you know? And and, and you said something. You got to have a drive, you know? You can't give up, you know? And, and that is so important. I want, um, Danny, I want you to look into the camera. There's some young person that is watching this show today. What can you tell them? Because, you know, they had dreams. They had goals. And, and they allowed somebody to, you know what I'm saying, to pump that negative stuff in them and told them it would never go nowhere. You would never be in anything you're going to be like your environment because we see a lot of that today you know what i'm saying a lot of our we, we're just gonna we're gonna talk on just african-american guys a lot of them have been beat down and they and they have developed that type of mentality well they told me i would never be anything uh even if i tried out i'm gonna fail it but what can you tell them um i'll just tell them you know see god first you know um work hard i mean like I was saying, I'm gonna let the last show. Now, some people are gonna tell you some things, and sometimes you can take some things from people because you can learn no matter how good you're a craft. But at the same time, there might be something negative they tell you that you might just have to kind of brush off. You know, try to use the positive, you know, um, influence and work on, you know, what you need to work with that positive message. And you know, just don't give up. Pray, trust in God, keep working hard, and say if they tell you you're not good or whatever, and you know, maybe you could get better at something, but just work at it. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wasn't a starter on the basketball team, right. you know, when they first started playing basketball. But there's some people who was stayed on the bench two years, but they, they might have been the one that made the pros, you know. And the same thing with music, you know. Somebody might have not sold, you know, 100 rec- uh, albums, their first album, but now they might have sold millions. So I just say, stay with it. If it's something you like to do, don't just do it because, you know, it's just what you want to do if it's not what you're loving to do. But if you love to do it, just pray to God, work on what you need to work on. And um, just, you know, have a good surrounding, be surrounded by the right people. Hopefully your parents and, you know, your church uh, community and stuff, everything is backing you up. But just if not, just try to be around, you know, some positive people that's going to back you up. Most of all, have, your, have faith in yourself and have faith in God. Wow, that's right. What about you, Bama? What can you, you know, tell some young person that's out there watching today? To so all the young people out there watching today, you know what I'm saying? Always keep God in your background. The reason I say that is because so many people pray to God, but on a daily basis, they stray away from him. Right. Wow. Keep him in your background. What I mean by that is every day when you pray all day long, when you keep him in your background, you can grab him at any time you want to. See, he's always there for you. That's right. But the thing you have to do is keep him around. You keep him in your presence. See, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I used to weigh 337 pounds, 337 pounds. I got on the scale and you know what I did? I went in my room and I prayed. And I told God, I said, hey, that's, that's not a life for me. That's something that I don't want anymore. And you know what I did? I got up and done something about it. I got in the gym, I started working out. I started eating healthy. I started doing things that I never thought I'd do before. Getting on the, getting on the treadmill, first off running a mile, I was wild about it. I ran a mile, I used to run a half a mile and, and barely could breathe. I kept on working, kept on working, ran two miles, seen my, seen my weight going down tremendously. Mess around the other day, ran three miles. And I'm here to tell you, I done lost over 85 pounds. Wow. 85 pounds, 337 all the way to 250 now. So you're looking at a person that believed in God, trusted in God, and guess what? I'm accomplishing things because I'm keeping him in my background. I'm keeping him around me. I'm keeping him in my presence. Never give up. Don't give up. You keep on doing what you got to do. Because one thing my father always told me, he said, son, if you lay down, you'll die. Wow. And see, wow. <laughs> what he meant by that, he didn't mean if I just laid in the bed, I would die. But he meant if I gave up. Wow. Yeah. That's right. good, man. All of the things that I ever wanted, I wouldn't have. But guess what? I won't give up. I'm going to continue grinding. And that's what we doing with this music. We study grinding. When I'm in the when I'm in the gym, I'm grinding. So when you out there getting your education and you in the school and you see you make a, a C on a test, even if you make a D or F, you go back and give it extra effort. Because if you, if you go to the alphabet, when it say A B C D E, 
FG. That's right. You notice they ain't even put the they ain't even put the E in there. But you go back to that E and give it extra effort. That's right. That's what you do. And when you make a D, just think about it. It's just a deacon dressing up to go to a funeral. And that's something you don't want. Oh, wow. That means a mass destruction for your life. So what you do, you stay in there, you get your education, no matter what nobody say, because it's gonna be people tell you, you can go out there and get all the degrees you want. That ain't gonna get you no job. You go do what you wanna do, not what another person wants you to do. It's your life, you live it, but you live it in the right way. Wow, man. You, you said a lot, you know, and, and somebody was touched today, you know, just about you all's testimony, you know, and you can just feel, you know, the presence of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even trying to go there, but, you know, it <laughs> is what it Lord. is, right? <laughs> it is what it is. When, when you can actually feel people, you know what I'm saying? That means a lot, you know? I tell people all the time, whatever you do, it ought, you ought, it ought to be the way you have all of you in it, not just part of you, you know what I'm saying? Not just be doing it just to be doing it, but we can, we can tell that you all have a love for what you do, and that means a lot. That will attract a lot of people, and, and I want I want to encourage you all keep doing what you're doing man because your work is not in vain you know and i see you all you know progressing going places you've never been before you know what i'm saying i just see it you know i see god doing it because you have a drive and anybody that has a drive man you can go anywhere in life you can be whatever you want to be but you gotta i told a lady today and, and we're getting ready we're getting ready to close and let you all perform but i told a lady the other day today actually i said when your mouth matches your mind that's when god manifests us and see, and you all, y'all, y'all demonstrate that here today, and that's what you all are doing. You're not just talking about it, you know. And that's one thing, you know. Uh, you got a lot of people; they try something and they quit because why? They got a, they got a blind shot. The people told them they would never be anything, but you all, you kept grinding. You know what I'm saying? And and not just one CD, y'all on your second CD. You know that means a lot. You know and and. Today, somebody was touched, you know, even by this show here. We just want to tell you all thank you and, you know, for coming to Keeping It Real Talk show. And uh, you want to say anything? Yeah, I got one more thing for the people out there. Right now, it's someone that's dealing with sickness. And you think you can't overcome this sickness. The headaches, they feel like migraines. Having pain and aches in your body. But one thing I want you to, I want to tell you today this is the thing I want to tell you. Start praying to God. Stick with your prayer. Believe in God. That's right. Take you walks a day, even 15 minute walks, 30 minute walks. Change your eating ways. That's right. Change your ways. That's all you got to do. But uh, God put it in, he put it right inside of here right now for That's me right. to tell you that it's not over until he says it's over. That's right. And he's telling me now it's not over. That's so right. if it's you, follow this word. Follow this guideline, just like you follow a guideline in the book. Follow it. Follow what I'm telling you. Put God first. Pray to him about it. Put it. You tell the devil, my body is not your temple. Flee away from me. I belong to God. Amen. And you That's believed right. in that. You dwell on that. That's right. And I promise you everything will get better. That's right. Definitely. Wow. What a word. What a word, man. You can just feel the presence of the Lord and I like that when God shows up on a set you know what I'm saying it's not scripted out and he's not programmed out amen so I want to tell you all thank you man and we want you to stay tuned and we'll be right back I'm from, I'm from the south, south Florida, Florida boy, boy. living Bama now. now either, either way, way it's still the south me and my boy Breezy Bama Bama King on another, another one show, show you how we do we from the south I'm from the South, no, I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, no, I keep it poppin', I rip the mic, boy. I'm from the South, no, I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, no, I keep it poppin', I rip the mic, boy. I've been, I've been doing, doing this right around right since I was 10. All the one time I was gonna rhyme again. But how could I stop? I keep it poppin', so listen up. I'm going for Walden, for Walden Beach. And I'm coming to try to dig your fleets. I was a little member for a little while. 95 to 99, I'm back before Walden Beach is graduation time now. I was on the way to this team, I was in advanced acting. I was steady trying to do my praying and fasting. When I was a faculty, that soul food. I carried my ball to school. Prayer in front of the flat hole too. Cause what I was allowed to do. I was a little bit too. My older brother went to FSU. I'm in Alabama seven years now too. I'm from the south, now get my view. I'm from the south, now I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the south, now I keep popping, rip the mic, boy. I'm from the south, now I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the south, now I keep it popping, I rip the mic, boy.
I'm from the south where the east are flowing. I'm from the south where the blue hollies be throwing. I'm from the south where the national championships they be holding. I'm from the south where the gardens they be growing. I'm from the south, you know that I'm from. I'm from the south where we keep you jumping. I'm from the south, we from the south, we from the south, and in the south where we keep the good, good, good going. I'm from the south, bro, I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the south, bro, I keep popping, I'm ripping the mic, boy. I'm from the south, bro, I keep it tight, boy. I'm from the south, bro, I keep popping, I'm ripping the mic, boy. I'm from the south, homie. I'm from the south. I'm from the south, shorty. I'm from the south. I'm from the south, homie. I'm hey. from the south. I'm from the south, shorty. I'm from the south. Sweet home Alabama, yeah, I'm from the south. Home of the sweet 16, I rep the crimson tide. You'll be hearing roll tide all fall long. And we looking for revenge all fall long. All fall 16, moving on to 17. The tide is doing big things, and it really needs some big rings. I'm calling places Blake Kiffin. Yeah, I stunt anywhere I touch down. Yeah, I run and stop like a pie pies. Lyrics touch the beat, music spice on it. Yeah, that's when my lyrics are super cold. So on this beat, I'm leaving nice on it. My jewelry shining so bright. Whoa. Yeah, this way it got lights on it. You can call me Alabama Powers. I kill this verse of lights out, homie. You can call me Alabama Powers. I kill this verse of lights out, homie. The South, we keep on going in the in South. We keep this flowing. In the South, we keep on going in the South. We keep this flowing. I'm from the South, we keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, we keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, we keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, we keep it tight, boy. I'm from the South, we keep it tight, boy. Yeah, we from the South, baby. Yeah, 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 we from the South, baby. Shots out to Auburn, Auburn. Shots out to Ole Miss, Ole Miss. Miss. Shots, out to State. Yeah. Shots out to Georgia. Shots out, out to Florida, Florida, Florida State, State, baby. We from the South, baby. We here to take over, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, Daniel, tell us where we can get the uh, the CD. You know. Well, we just have the um, it's, the CD is actually going to be out in the next few months, but this is a single that we did from the South. But you can buy the song off of um, iTunes, Amazon, Apple Music. You can stream it, Spotify. Um, you can go to uh, Reverb Nation and look up uh, Prolific and the Enterprise Alabama area. We're actually ranked number three and the um, locally, and I think it's like six in the region on Reverb Nation. You go to my website, Daniel AT. 828.org to contact me as well on my Facebook or Ben McKean's Facebook and he also has some info as well definitely so uh, we want to say thank you all you know for coming on the Keeping It Real talk show uh, man we really enjoyed you you know that single man I believe it's gonna it's gonna hit all over you know you already said it was number three and yeah, well, three. In, yeah, three in the well, three from um, and locally for the enterprise area, but it's like number six from here to Dothan. So you know, it's doing pretty good. Right, so, yeah. that's great. That's Thank great. You. So we want to encourage you all. You know, go on YouTube. Uh, it is show on the bottom of the screen, uh, and all the information that he talked about, the contact number. Uh, you may want them to come to your church or your event to uh, perform. You know. Uh, Feel free to contact them, and they'll be grateful to come out and entertain your youth and, and just have a good time. Once again, thank you all. And I must say thank you for tuning in to Keeping It Real Talk Show, and we'll see you next week at the same time. Once again, be blessed is our prayer.